and this sulfur containing amino acids methinoin and cystein as I uh, think they're called you know um, MSM is um, I don't think this is included in a egg but eggs usually and spirulina have all the amino acids all um, we need but curd does too have the sulfur containing amino acids but curd I mean how much curd can you eat I love curd like when things taste good and I was eating quite a bit of curd lately uh, some coffee cream I add and that's it no sugar and stuff I add yeah if at all I add some pear um, honey it's just yeah but yeah that one fights um, uh, when parts like cancer is a part of your body where no oxygen is um, present and this sulfur hel helps to get oxygen to all bo body parts so that's why it also fights cancer <laughs> it's a budlach minke budlik Dr. Johanna, Joanna Budlich. And she's propagating a oil amino acid um, diet to get, you know, healthy. And she didn't know at her time. She was like pre-Second First World War something <laughs> about MSM, which is a pretty new substance. Like the DMSO is a waste product of some kind of a industry and the MSM might be as well you know so melissa tea also contains sulfurs so now the question arises do I want to take a mono substance for a short time yes I do because I want to get my knee healthy or maybe have a healthy sulfur containing tea a little bit of sulfur is there in melissa tea and just like half the whole plant it's not a mono substance like if you take if i take a mono substance too long i don't really uh, feel well i feel like mm, and that's also you know like a mm, it's not natural in nature a mono substance not even water is just nothing there's a lot of bacteria included in water you know you might wonder <laughs> what bacteria yeah there is good and bad in water too like the bacteria in my intestines I learned the bad ones candida and the good ones have no name <laughs> you know uh, so that's what I'm um, thriving for just to do it yeah I stopped eating all those mono substances and even threw away chlorella spirulina <laughs> um, maca um, um, not the beetroot but there is another hockey button uh, for um, copper I took that one maybe you know what it might be when I say for copper intake yeah yeah I had a lot of lot of things and I was so happy to be having them I show us well dance with me <laughs> I'm so bored you know it's full moon again and I'm like I've been talking to a taxi driver I don't want to say in the city it's a small village but there at the station I was able to talk to there is nothing in my cupboards there I put the shoes in
because I don't want any mice to go eating my shoes I don't need, you know. But otherwise, yeah. Yesterday, this one was the weight. Oh yeah, I could carry it on my left side because here I sure have a little bit less um, muscles than on the other side. Da, da. I realized on photos. And it's the same on my legs, of course, because, yeah, either you use your right or your left side more to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gyro effect, most efficient in the world. Yeah, yeah. Da -da -dee -do -dee -do. Hello. Where is it? There. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I could, at that doctor, make him look by ultrasound at my organs, organs, but I don't want to know, you know, all these um, visual tests, they tend to make you afraid, but when you look at, you know, how nature, my body is nature, has gotten us through millions of years, probably anything I do extra to kind of, hmm, you know, find problems and fight it and stuff. Just won't help, but to not get cancer, I take leucine, you know. To not get gray hair, I take arginine. To not uh, be hmm, having headaches and, um, you know, weak... Uh, kind of um well now it's uh, the transition from spring to summer or winter to spring so that one kind of is making people um f uh, giving them a bit a hard time but then that's iron and sink is when the sun hurts in my eyes and when hair is kind of a bit feeble you know i used to have a bit kind of bad hair i cut it and now it's growing again. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Da -do, da -do, da -do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is this baking soda. Huh? I'm not decided yet upon. The things I talked about now, this iron, vitamin D and all, I get the test results and then upon my doctor telling me or I'm googling afterwards whether I'm low or high in that sector I will just intake iron if he's not giving me that injections I will go you know now I buy those iron pills myself and stuff I can also buy the vitamin D myself you know I don't have to go but um on the baking soda baths, I'm not really sure because I tell you, I maybe had, hmm, it's the same number, maybe 55 hours of baths within baking soda. So what happened? Hmm, I'm not sure because <laughs> getting into the bath and getting out of it, the water was always alkaline. So, hmm, okay. I wasn't sure did anything flush out. But then during summers I had some sort of vitiligo happening, you know. Certain parts on my arm and leg would just be a bit spreckles, white ones. Hmm. Don't like that. So bye-bye. Camera shutting down. <laughs>